Let's step away from the numbers a bit and just consider the general shape of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. What does its shape look like? If you said it is essentially a circle, you'd be very correct. It's not a perfect circle. You can see there's a little more space over here than over here. But it's so close, for the sake of argument, let's call Earth's orbit a circle. Looking at this remarkably circular orbit, it's worth taking a minute to consider why it's so common for people to think that the distance from Earth to the Sun changes a lot throughout the year. You've probably seen Earth's orbit around the Sun drawn other ways. In many textbooks, the Earth's circular orbit is flattened into an ellipse in an attempt to show a more tilted perspective. Now, check out this flat elliptical orbit. What's wrong with it? Well, what may not be obvious is that one side of the orbit is much closer to you and one side is much further away. Closer? When you see it like this on a sheet of paper, you can't tell which side is closer or farther away, so it's very misleading. That's why the best representation of Earth's orbit is looking from overhead at this big circular circle. Why? Because it shows exactly how far away the Earth is from the Sun at any time. As a quick recap question, answer this. How would you best describe the shape of the Earth's orbit when viewed from overhead? Precisely! Do you know what you are looking at right now? As a matter of fact, you are looking down on Earth's orbit around the Sun. How are you supposed to know that, though? Well, one indication is that the orbit is nearly a perfect circle. Let's see the distance between the Earth and Sun at different times of year. Right here, the Earth is 147 million kilometers from the Sun. Three months later, the Earth is going to be 149 million kilometers from the Sun. And three months after that, the Earth is 151 million kilometers from the Sun. And finally, three months later, the Earth is 8 kilometers from the Sun. No, I'm kidding, of course. The Sun is 149 million kilometers from the Sun again. Throughout the year, the Earth is always somewhere around 148 or 150 million kilometers from the Sun. Another indication that we are looking at Earth's orbit is that a single revolution of the Earth takes 365 days, which is one full year. And since this orbit equals one year, we can identify which part of the orbit represents each season in Boston. When it's winter in Boston, the Earth is actually closest to the Sun. How about here? What season will it be in Boston? We just had winter, so one quarter of a revolution later, or three months, is spring. And here, I'll just fill in the remaining seasons labels. And just to be clear, these labels apply to the seasons in the Northern Hemisphere only, which is where you can find Boston, Paris, Beirut, Moscow, and 88% of the world's population. Let's explore how Earth's tilted rotation axis changes the distance from Boston to the Sun when it is summer versus winter. Here's the Earth. Can you tell what season it is in the Northern Hemisphere?
You can tell it's winter in the northern hemisphere because the North Pole is tilted away from the sun, which is shining from off to the right. And here's the Earth again when it is summer in the north, because the North Pole is tilted toward the sun, which is shining from off to the right. Before I go any further, I need to say something about what I've done here. I'm making it look like the tilt of the Earth has tipped from left to right. But of course, that hasn't happened, because that never happens. Because the tilt of the Earth never changes. This is what the summer Earth should look like. But here I've flipped around the image of the summer version so that the sun stays on the right side of the screen, and so that we can compare how the tilt affects the distance from Boston to the sun. Okay, so in the winter, Boston is right here, and the sun is somewhere off to the right. And in the summer, Boston is right here, and the sun is somewhere off to the right. Wow! I mean, look at that change! Over 3,400 kilometers! Boston must be so much closer, right? Well, actually, wrong. Let's look at the same change from far enough away that we can see both Earth and the Sun in the same screen. There. Okay, so in the winter, Boston is right here, and the Sun is right here. And in the summer, Boston is all the way over here, and the sun is right here. The change is so small and unimportant that I can't even show you a gap between winter Boston and summer Boston. Meanwhile, the distance from the Earth to the sun is about 150 million kilometers. 150 million kilometers! And in fact, the Earth orbits a little further away from the sun during a Boston summer, so the truth is that Boston is actually slightly further away from the sun in summer than in winter.